Here we can see the 7 segment display changing number automatically. We can control this number by the changing of the potentiometer resistivity. Now you can see the display digit is changing very slowly. To do these things, see the video completely. To do this thing, we need two type of IC, one triple five timer IC, other 4026 IC, a 500k variable register, two 220 ohm register and a 1k register, a 7 segment display which is common cathode, a LED and long terminal of the LED is positive, also need a 10 microfarad capacitor and some wire. Now the triple five timer IC is connecting in the middle part of the bedboard and pin number one of the IC is connected in the negative rail of the bedboard and pin number four of the IC is connecting in the positive rail of the bedboard. Now short pin number four and pin number eight of the IC. Also short pin number two and pin number six of the IC. In pin number 7, we add 1 kilo ohm resistor and opposite side of the resistor is connecting with the positive rail of the bedboard and positive terminal of the capacitor is connecting in pin number 2 and pin number 1 is connected with negative part of the capacitor and pin number 7 we add a wire and opposite side of the wire is connecting with a 5 kilo ohm variable resistor and pin number 2 of the IC is connecting with the variable resistor mid pin or variable pin of the resistor is connecting in the pin number 2 and pin number 3 is the output pin which is connected with a wire and opposite side of the wire is connecting with a positive terminal of the LED now ground the LED with 220 ohm resistor now connecting power the LED is blinking so the triple five timer is successfully connecting in the breadboard. We can control this LED blink by the potentiometer. Now disconnect the power and connect 4026 IC in the breadboard. And pin number 8 of the IC is connected with the negative rail of the breadboard. And pin number 16 of the IC is connected with the positive rail of the breadboard. Now pin number 2 of the IC is connecting in the negative rail of the breadboard. Pin number 15 of the IC is connecting in the negative rail of the breadboard. Now connect 7 segment display in the breadboard. And 10 number pin of the IC is connected with A pin of 7 segment display. 12 number pin of the IC is connecting with a B pin of 7 segment display. C pin of 7 segment display is connecting in the 13 pin of IC. D pin of 7 segment display is connecting in the pin number 9 of the IC. Pin number 11 is connecting with the E pin of 7 segment display. Pin number 6 is connected with 8th pin of 7 segment display. Pin number 7 of the IC is connected with a G pin of 7 segment display. Now bottom middle pin is common cathode which is connected with 220 ohm resistor or ground the 7 segment display with 220 ohm resistor. Now pin number 1 is a clock pin of the IC and that clock pin is connected with the uh, output of the triple five timer IC which is uh, pin number 3. Now connecting power in the circuit. Now you can see the 7 segment display is changing number by increasing 
or decreasing the resistivity of the pot the number uh, changing very fastly by increasing the resistivity the triple five timer give a slow cock pulse and uh, the IC change the numbers very slowly now you can see the number is changing very slowly so if you like my video then don't forget to subscribe my channel see you next time